on the bench. On the bench. On the bench. G'day, welcome back to On the Bench with Max. Brand new project, restoration projects in our shop now, but I'm not going to tell you about it. I'm going to ask a guest presenter to tell you all about it, and I'll also get that guest presenter to tell you who he is. Hi everybody, my name's Danny and I'm Max Crowther's son. Um, this is my first time on On the Bench with Max, and I'm very excited to introduce you to this gorgeous Dawn MFG Koi 611 which was produced between 19, uh, 1917 and 1967. We're not sure how much further they were produced after that. Um, but my old man picked this up for about 100 bucks in a parking lot, so that was a, a pretty good deal. Um, when we got it, it was completely seized, and the bearing assemblies were all a bit nasty, and we just gave it a bit of a WD-40 bath, and we were able to free her up with a few love taps. You've got to love the knockometer. So, as the mechanism we can figure it out so far is it's a, a gear with a cam welded into it, and as you spin it, the flywheel takes some of your inertia. And this wheel here is driven by a little tooth onto a gear, and the cam just knocks it one or two teeth at a time. And this baby can pump out 200 RPM back in 1917. So the mission will be to find the matching chuck and to find the matching bench um, that attaches to this arm before we mount it to a post. But this lovely old girl is going to get brought right back to life and we can't wait. Thanks Dan. Well that's fantastic. So just to reiterate it's a 611 S Nope, 611, model 611. Model 611 by the Dawn Manufacturing Company. Um, and Dawn is Australian made. And by, by the way, this is a Dawn Australian made four inch offset um, engineer's vice. So I like to collect Dawn stuff because it's Australian made. They also make tremendous G clamps. Um, and in fact, I'll grab one. And I think we might need a few of these to do this restoration. So here's another Australian made Dawn 150mm clamp. So between Dan and I, we're going we're gonna to start collecting all the old Dawn stuff and see if we can uh, get a full catalogue together, full, fully restored Dawn equipment. This one's had a bit of use, got a bit of a, somebody got a bit overzealous on it. <laughs> but we did manage to find, thank you Google, a catalogue that spanned 1917 to 1967 and that was the only way we could get a part number for this old girl um, as well as the advertisements so we're quite excited so then welcome to on the bench with max thanks dad good to be here on the bench bench.